All praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rikah Kodash. Double honors to the elder apostles from the great millstone who taught us this truth. And today's lesson uh, will be called, uh, let's see if we can grab it. The Illuminati's Rule, explained by David Wilcock. And I got this lesson from the brother, um, uh, Isaac um, Ambassador, uh, Issachar Ambassador Salaki. And I'm going to start off with the first uh, precept. This is Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. It says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the Most High that ye be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. And the wiles of the devil are definitely here, man. Okay? It's, it's hyped up. Okay, it's it's to the next level basically. You know, he's he's the devil is coming out full fledged. You know, his horns is showing. You know, even though he don't want him to be shown, but he's being he's being uh, exposed. Okay, so and uh, this is a video I believe from the 2018, uh, yeah, 2018 January 25th. So. Uh, now I don't. This is just when they published it, so it's, it seemed like it might be a little older. But I think this is a three-minute video. Lord willing, we'll come back with some precepts and let's watch the video. And I want to say something else. One of the things that I learned from whistleblowers from the cabal itself is that they have to work within something they call the rules, and this is very, very important. So I really want to make sure that this gets into the film. The rules are a body of spiritual principles that they must follow in order to be allowed to exist. Now, what do I mean by allowed to exist? I mean that they are aware that there are benevolent forces that will prevent them from achieving their goals unless we give them permission to enslave us. Now, think about that. Well, I didn't give them permission. So why did they put this plan for three world wars on display in a book that's hanging there open behind glass in the British Museum Library of London. And those three world wars that they're outlining are exactly World War I, World War II, and the war on terrorism. Because the rules state that they have to tell us what they're doing. Therefore, if we allow it to happen, we have consented to tyranny, we have consented to enslavement. Now, if you get into the secret history of the cabal. This was rediscovered by Queen Elizabeth, the original Elizabeth that we've heard about from the 1500s. Queen Elizabeth's royal astrologer, a man named John Dee, who is the prototype of the wizard with the long beard, the, the hat, and what he did was to rediscover through these ancient documents that were in the Vatican, the technology of how to access what they considered to be spiritual beings that were useful to them, but what we would consider to be demonic or evil beings. These beings need to be accessed through a very complex set of rituals and ceremonies. You cannot just ask for them to show up. You have to follow very elaborate and specific protocols. If you follow those protocols, it's like having an IP address, which is what we use to go online in order to notate a website. Every website has its own IP address. These spiritual beings, such as Baal and Moloch, which they still do ceremonies for today, such as in Bohemian Grove, there is a giant effigy, stone effigy of an owl. That's the god Moloch. The god Moloch goes all the way back to Rome and Carthage, in which they were offering child sacrifices to this god in exchange for power. So John Dee rediscovered the technology of how to draw the magic circles, how to say the right incantations, how to actually do black magic on a governmental level. This is what people are going to have so much trouble with once disclosure happens, is that these people actually practice black magic, and they are very, very good at it. You hear that? And this guy had a lot to say, and a lot of... Everything I believe from what you know that you know from 
you know, our teachers and our apostles uh, have taught us, you know, was before this guy even come out and, and published this thing. Okay. And it's all scriptural. Okay. And like he said, people are going to have trouble in these times with this. Okay. Ephesians chapter uh, 6 and verse 12 says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And this is that those high places, you know, with the, like the guy was saying, uh, and they, they, they uh, do this, uh, you know, wickedness in, in the government, in the system of the government, in a government system. Okay, that's why Yahweh Bashim Yabshai is coming back with his son to set up his government in righteousness, man. Okay, and you know, you can have, you know, plenty of our people that wouldn't believe this guy or nothing that he said. And la, nah, man, that ain't, you know, until the shit hits the fan, basically. When it hits the fan, it's going to be way too late for you. Okay, like the scripture said, the Lord said he stretched out his hand once and twice. And no man regard it. Okay. Yeah. And and yeah, this this is our people, man. The stiff neck uh, rebellious people. Okay, let's go to um uh Second Thessalonians chapter uh, two and uh uh, let's start at verse 3. It says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And this is Esau Edom. Okay? And that falling away first, you know, uh, was back in 70 uh, AD, or somewhere around that time, you know, when when we uh our ancestors had uh was uh was uh overtaken by the uh uh uh, uh the Greeks the Romans you know which they all the Edomites okay so let's look up this uh, uh word hypodition you know the apostles always have uh looked this word up so let's look the word up for us us people that don't know destroying this is the outline of the biblical use is destroying utter utter destruction of vessel and that's esau edom he's the vessel that's, that's uh, built for destruction man okay the lord is gonna destroy him and he and and he destroys <laughs> that's all he knows is to destroy Okay, you know, you might think that he's doing such a good job and of setting up, uh, you know, this place and his his democracy and his uh, his, you know, his uh, inventions and all of this. But it's, this is all against you. His inventions are to overcome the world or want to overcome overcome the world. But that's not going to happen, man. Okay. Okay. Uh, Let's see where we at. Uh, it said, verse 4, it said, Who opposes and exalt himself above all that is called God or that is that is worshipped, so that he, as the Most High, sit in the temple of the Most High, showing himself that he is the Most High. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. And now ye know what would hold it that he might be revealed in in his time? Okay? And this is the time, man. Okay? All of these things are being exposed. Esau is being exposed, man. Because of, uh, you know, all of the uh, these uh, Edomites are coming out and saying different things. Okay? That's, uh, that's exposing their own. You know, the Egyptian against the Egyptians. 
you know what? Let's get this. Um, uh, let's go to uh, and uh, let's see, Salaki. Let's go to Psalms. Uh, sixty-four. And uh, let's see. Uh, is it sixty-four? Okay, yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, uh. Uh, Psalm sixty-four. And verse. Let's start at verse 2. Uh, then we'll... Yeah. Uh, hold on. So I can... Uh, bear with me. Uh, Psalm 64 I'm looking for. Uh, okay, so the times that we're in, man, uh, it's... Uh, yeah, we're looking for verse 8, but we're going to start it from here. Verse 2, it says, Psalm 60, this is the book of Psalm 64 and chapter 2. It says, Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked for the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. And this is talking about Esau Edom. This is the devil that we read about, man. Okay? There is a physical counterpart. The work is the work of, of Satan, man. You can see what the, one, the man told you in the interview. They do these dark rituals man okay and this is your government okay your government runs this 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 world off of wickedness man on the left hand side okay verse three who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows even bitter words that they may shoot in secret at the perfect and who's the perfect the lord's men okay the starting with the elect Okay, the uh, 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 the elect of Israel, the elect of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. Yeah, because why? They don't fear the Lord. You know, like they said, uh, God has fell asleep. You know, roughly paraphrasing that scripture. You know, you know that was... Um, the wicked of our, our people... I think the same thing, okay? Because the Lord hasn't showed, you know, what, how does the scripture go? Because a, a, a work, a, a, a evil work has not been corrected or has uh, been speedily shown, okay? And, you know, they thinking that it's, you know, well with them. Roughly paraphrasing, so like it for that. It said they encourage themselves in an evil manner. They commute of laying snares privily. They say, who shall see them? Yeah. Okay. They search out iniquity. They accomplish a diligence and search. Both their inward thoughts of every one of them and their heart is deep. But the most high shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly they shall be wounded wounded and that arrow is this this truth about them exposing them and this is the point that's verse eight so they shall make their own tongues to fall upon themselves all that see them shall flee away and this is them making their tongue their own tongues to fall upon themselves you know and he talked about many other whist whistleblowers okay exposing you know their their government you see this is how the government is ran, man. And, uh, and, you know, and, and our people are still in that, that docile mind state, okay? Even though you got people that were, were insiders that knew about this thing and, you know, and now they're starting to come out and, 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 and say something about it, Okay? You know, the scripture tell you to never trust our enemy. And who is thy enemy? The so-called white man. And that's who ruling the earth, man. The Lord gave him. Well, Yahweh Bashimi Abshai, Yahweh Bashimi Abshai gave him the, uh, uh, you know, this earth. He said it was given into the hands of the wicked. You see? Let's see. Let's hear it one more time. 
from the cabal itself is that they have to work within something they call the rules. And this is very, very important. So I really want to make sure that this gets into the film. The rules are a body of spiritual principles that they must follow in order to be allowed to exist. Now, what do I mean by allowed to exist? I mean that they are aware that there are benevolent forces that will prevent them from achieving their goals unless we give them permission to enslave us. Now, think about that. Well, I didn't give them permission. So why did they put this plan for three world wars on display in a book that's hanging there open behind glass in the British Museum Library of London? And those three world wars that they're outlining are exactly World War I, World War II, and the war on terrorism. Because the rules state that they have to tell us what they're doing. Yeah, that's the proudness of this devil, man. Okay. Uh, let's go to this last precept. This is a uh, oh, salaka for that. Uh, uh, let's see. Let's see. We go into the book of Ezekiel, uh, chapter six, no, chapter seven, salaka. Uh, chapter 7 and verse, let's start at verse uh, uh, 3. It says, Now is the end come upon thee, and I will send my anger upon thee, and I will judge thee according to thy ways, and I will recompense upon thee all thy abominations. Okay? And this is talking about... uh. Israel, let's, if you go a little bit, let's, let's start from uh, number one, uh, verse one, so like it. Ezekiel chapter seven, verse one, moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, also, thou son of man, thus said the Lord God, Yahweh, unto the land of Israel, and end is, and end, and the end is come upon the four corners of the land. Now is the end come upon thee. And I will send my anger upon thee, and I will judge thee according to thy ways, and I will recompense upon thee all thy abomination. This is talking about the wicked of our people. Okay? The Lord is, like he said in uh, Isaiah 10, he said, The uh, the Assyrian is the uh, anger of my indignation, I believe, in my hand. The rod of my indignation. So the Lord is using them. Uh, the modern day Assyrian, which is Esau Edom, to be, uh, uh, you know, a punishing, uh, 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 the indignation in his hand to uh, punish the wicked of our people. Okay? It says, My eyes shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense thy ways upon thee, and thy abomination shall be in the midst of thee, and ye shall know. That I am the Lord Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. Thus said the Lord God Yahweh, and evil, and only an evil become is come, and the end is come, and the end is come. It watches for thee, behold, it is come. Okay? And this is just the beginning of it, man, you know? Because it's going to get to a point where, you know, uh, these different chants and, you know, of, of calling upon, you know, this, uh, of this spiritual demon is not going to work, man. Okay? And they're going to come in like a flood. You see? On the people. On the nation of Israel. Really, you know, a lot of his people are going to get caught up in it also. Okay? Because you've been seeing, you know, uh, 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 these different fallouts all of a sudden. People just dying all of a sudden. They don't wake up from out of the sleep. Okay, because of that three pointer, <laughs> that three point shot. Okay, ain't that how many you had to take? Anyway, we can go ahead and end it right there and give all praises and honor to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shabba Hashem, Rakah Hakwadash, double honors to the elder apostles, great millstone who taught us this truth. Peace and salutations to the brothers throughout the four corners of the earth, and shalom to the whole full leg.